Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to add some gradients to shapes and how to animate those gradients in After Effects. First thing, go to Composition, click on New Composition. I'm going to rename it as Circles. 1080p, 30 frame per second, 3 second, black background. Click OK. And from here, we're going to go and long click to the little square to the rectangle and select the ellipse tool. Okay, so here we got the stroke. Click on the stroke and you can see you only can select one color, okay? So you can go to the stroke, click on this uh, text here and here you can select the gradient. This is the linear gradient. You also got the radial gradient. We're going to work with the linear one and click OK. Now as you can see it's switched. I'm going to press and hold shift, create a circle. You can also increase the thickness of the stroke. Okay, in order to arrange uh, the gradient here, we're going to need to go to the here to the ellipse. Click on the ellipse and we got the gradient stroke. Click on it and here we got the start point and the end point. Okay, so we're going to work with the end point. All right, so if you select the selection tool up here, you can see this thing right here where you can basically also adjust the gradient. So if you pull it, you know, you're gonna make it even more easier. You can do it from here, you can do it from here. Anyway, so it some like, looks something like this. I'm gonna go to the stroke here, and here we can adjust the gradient, you know, just click on this and select the color, whatever you want. There you go, you can add here, if you see this little hand, click to add a stop, boom. And it's, it basically adds another stop there. This is how you can work with the gradients, okay? Another thing, I'm gonna arrange this, so go to the Align Center. Now, I'm gonna collide this and this and press the letter R, so we're gonna rotate. So basically here you can rotate it, as you can see it doesn't rotate it how I want it, it's kinda look weird. So we got a problem here because the anchor point is not in the center and it's a little bit problematic. So in order to move this anchor point, you can use the pen behind tool, you know, and uh, basically move it around, but you can't find the perfect center. So what you need to do is select the selection tool, press and hold control and double click on the pen behind. If you double click it, you're gonna arrange it perfectly to the center. One of my followers, Sebastian, told me about this and uh, it was a lifesaver basically. What I'm gonna do is click on this rotate time watch and go to the end and here type in one. So this is going to be on 360. So I'm gonna put this diamond even further I'm gonna select both of the diamonds and right click, go, go to keyframe assist, select easy ease, hit play. Also gonna decrease the thickness of the gradient a little. There you go. And I'm gonna scale this up, press S for scale. And from here, I'm gonna create a new copy, press Control D. So I'm gonna go with the shape layer one. I'm gonna press letter S, scale it down until it's gonna look something like this. I'm gonna press the letter R to rotate. And I'm gonna switch the diamonds. So I'm gonna pull this to the this end and I'm gonna pull this diamond to this end. You know, and just put it here. And now it's gonna spin in the opposite way. So anyways, I'm gonna scale these down uh, because of course I want this to a perfect composition. So something like this, I'm gonna arrange this also the smaller one. Anyways, I'm gonna select both, right click, pre-comp, Rename it this ring. Sound like this. I'm gonna click on this, Control D to duplicate, select the bottom one and press letter S for scale. I'm gonna scale this down. Select both, Control D, scale it down. Press S. And check that out. It's a really retro, futuristic kind of situation we have right here. So this is it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.